Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. You know all my struggles. All right, man, so I got to ask you, growing up, who were some of your favorite players? Uh, Baseball-wise? Yeah. or well, uh, you know what? You, you're a basketball guy, so you yeah. do, yeah, talk about that. I mean, that. growing up, love uh, loved watching Kobe Bryant. I mean, he's my uh, my idol. Um, everything he did uh, on the court, off the court, was, uh, you know, just exceptional. And uh, the way he always went about his business was awesome. And uh try to have that mentality when I'm playing baseball. Um, as far as baseball-wise, uh, you know, Chipper Jones, I love watching Chipper play. Uh, loved watching all the old school Dodgers just because that's what I grew up going to those games. Um, you know, Rule Mondesi, um, Eric Carroll, Piazza, all those guys. So it was uh, always fun to be able to go to those games. I like that. I like that. So if you did the Mount Rushmore for your position, you could do current, mix it current at all time. Wow. How would that look? It'd be filled with a lot of great players, man. You got uh, George Brett. Um, I mean, Nolan Arenado's up there, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, Manny Machado, uh, Schmidt. I mean, there's just uh, you got. That's a good four. You got Brooks. Uh, you got some incredible players. Beltre, obviously. I mean, one of the best. Uh, there's just so many great third basemen that have played, and uh, to to leave guys out would be not doing them justice. I like that answer. So, I mean, you're part of history, obviously, with the Royals, man. And I don't know you've been asked this before, but, you know, I went back and did a deep dive on that team and just how dangerous they were. You know, Hodgman, yourself, and Sal, just all the guys on that team, including the pitching staff and yeah. just other players. Can you talk about just that, that run and how special that was? Yeah, it was uh, – so we had, a, we had a great team, but what made us uh, – what made us great is that we played for each other. You know, we we never had an MVP, we never had a Cy Young, we didn't have a Rookie of the Year, but we had 25 guys that, you know, played the game the right way and played each and every night for each other. And uh, we held everybody accountable. You know, one of the most important pieces of our team was uh, Gerard Dyson. And he was our fourth outfielder, uh, base stealer, uh, but he held everybody accountable. So when you have guys like that, um, that didn't play as much as he wanted to, um, but contributed more than almost anybody. Um, that's what made us a great team. I like that. I like that. So I play video games. I got to ask you this, man. The first time you saw yourself on MLB The Show, I know growing up probably as a kid, you played these video games. Yep. You had to create yourself. Yep. But to actually see yourself on a video game, what do you think about that? Really cool. Uh, to, to play Major League Baseball is awesome, but then to see yourself actually in a Major League Baseball game, it was, uh, it was a humbling experience. It was pretty cool. Um, people still ask me about. I, ha I guess I have this card uh, in the show the right now. Yeah, yeah that's like uh, so supposedly like really good or something. Mm -hmm. I haven't played the show in a long time, but uh, it it's still pretty cool to uh, to hear people talk about that. I love that, man. The one thing I noticed, man, and I'm a big sneaker guy. I noticed that you were wearing the Jordan One cleats, man. And, I, and you know, baseball has always been sort of the sport that now it's starting to change, where guys are you know wearing gear and different things. Yeah. How is it doing actually being a basketball guy? Being able to wear the Jordan One cleats, man. it's it's awesome, man. Uh, you know, I I've been playing for a long time now and uh, don't have any more uh, endorsements uh -huh. for for cleats, so I got to finally uh, kind of branch out and do what I want to do. And uh, I love Jordans, um, love wearing them, and the, the cleats are unbelievably comfortable and they look good, obviously. So it's uh, it, it's cool to be able to uh, have some uh, you know personal touches out there on the field now. I love it, love it. Last question, man. Just being a fan of the sport and you being a player as well, to see how the WBC ended with Trout and Otani. Can you talk about how that was, man? Because, I mean, baseball took, a, I think, a big step with that, man, having two teammates, not only two teammates, many people deem as them as being the guys. Yeah. Um, can you talk about that moment of just you being a player and a fan, how you that uh, That sums up what the WBC was supposed to be. You know, you have two of the best players, if not the, the best players in the game right now, going head to head against each other uh, and seeing who's better. And obviously, uh, you know, Otani ended up striking out Trout, but just just the whole atmosphere around that at bat, it's, it's what that entire tournament led up to that. Mm -hmm. And it was, uh, you know, being a baseball player and a baseball fan is something you can enjoy. And even if you're not a baseball fan, you see this guy throwing 102 miles an hour against yeah. arguably the greatest player of all time. Um, it was just a cool story. And uh, it, it was something that, you know, you can watch back 
from years to come be like, wow, that was one of the best moments in baseball. I love it. You know, I do have one last question. So this is a fun one for you. You know how like the relief pitchers had their theme music and all that stuff. They walk up to the mound. Yeah. But let's just say we had a song and it was named after you. Oh God. You could pick any artist, dead or alive, okay. to do that song. And let's say we could just flash back to the World Series. They play that song live. Right. And it's named after you. What artist is doing your song? Tupac. Ooh, that's <laughs> man, live. That would be nuts. That'd yeah, be actually, nuts. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I think that would be nuts. Yep. Well, and Mike, man, I appreciate your time, man. Keep doing your thing, awesome. and we'll be talking again awesome, soon. Awesome, bro. Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah.